So in this video, we'll look at how to save the plot and also how to do subplots. Okay. So this is the same code that we wrote in the last video about plotting. So let's just run this code. Okay, we have a plot over here. If you would like to save it, just add the comment save fig and give it a file name. So plot.png. Okay, and if I run this, if you go to the directory, if you go to the directory, you'll see the plot over here. And then you can open it and find the plot. Okay. Now to do subplots, you need to make some changes to the code. Let's say I want to do the sine and cosine on uh, different uh, subplots. So first, let's create subplots um, using the plt.subplots command. Okay. In here, you have to specify the number of rows. So I would like to have one row and number of columns. I'd like to have two columns. So two figures side by side. And the first plot will now happen in the first axis, which is the first plot. The second one will happen in the second axis, which is the second plot. Now we don't need a legend anymore. Um, okay, and then same thing here, axis 0, axis 0, and this is axis 1, it's on the other plot. Okay, so let's Put this separate. Okay, and then add the labels for the other one as well. Uh, so x label is time, y label is z signal, and this is the y signal. Okay, let's plot this and check if it worked. Uh, x label. Okay, so there is a mistake here. Um, yeah, so this one is supposed to be set x label, so it changes. So you need to look at always go back to the documentation and try to figure out how to do all these things. Okay, let's run this again. There you go. And uh, oh, yeah, we forgot to change the number here to one. That's why you don't have any axis titles on this one. So let's run this again. Okay, and then you can just say plt.savefig, and if you go over here, the plot, okay, I run the command separately, so let's run this whole thing again, there you go, okay, so that's how to do subplots and how to save a figure to file, okay.